Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with a new business case with a very demanding customization of project, task and time sheet. The business is about, you know, whether you are running an agency where you are contracting your customer for services and then you are purchasing those services from your vendor a subcontract service and then also wish to allocate those tasks to vendors employee and then allow them to fill up their time log and information within that task so inside Odoo when we are trying to allocate any project and task to any user it will be required to have an internal user but for a large subcontracting service business a business cannot buy that many users to allocate and to use as a backend user so what we have done is we have created an application for portal user so this application we have developed on top of Odoo which will allow a portal user to be connected with an employee in Odoo as well as we can allocate tasks to that employee. So this module is not available on any app store. If you need this module, you can contact us at Techveria Solutions. So Techveria.com is our website. You can come and connect or you have my email ID. So let's start what iteration we have done. Now here what we have done is we have created some products which is service type product like elevator installation where I am only creating tasks in home construction project where I am also purchasing this service from elevator service provider. The second product is flooring services which again I am buying from flooring service vendor with subcontract service and it is again creating a task in our project. So let's see how it works. So inside quotation if I am selling any services to my customer one and I am selling let's say flooring services and that flooring services may be worth of five hours and then I confirm it so what it will do it will create a task inside my home construction project with SO27 so the task is created with SO27 flooring services and customer one will be assigned with its address and the contact number. Now here, what Odoo will do, Odoo will also create a purchase order in the name of flooring service vendor, who is, uh, you know, my vendor and I can confirm that service. So it's a service type product, but before I do so, I will allocate this service to my uh, you know employee so what I have done is I have already created employees with vendor employees type department where I have created elevator technician who is connected with portal 2 user and then flooring you know cleaner or flooring service provider who is connected with portal 1 user so these are my related users who are already connected with my employees and inside my users you can see these are backend user once I disable I have the portal 1 and portal 2 users who are nothing but my portal users to whom I would like to add to those tasks. So over here if I am adding those employees in my task over here they will able to see the project. Right now if I am only going and adding them here like let's say who was my user so let me check inside my employees so over here this portal one is my flooring cleaner okay so over here let me rename it to flooring cleaner that is one so I am going to assign this particular task to my flooring cleaner now on another window I have already logged in as portal 1 user so over here when I am using portal 1 
then he will directly able to access the order and task. So over here, this is my portal one user who will be allocated this with this task. And then he can start working on this and he can upload like in progress and then, you know, done or any message over here, which will again available in the backend over here. So when I go and refresh this, it will available over here from flooring cleaner because he is performing this and in backend, if I go, then he can also add his timesheet with the day. So today is the date where he spent four hours performed services. Okay. So now he is done with his task and timesheet. So over here, you can see his timesheet is filled up as a backend user and then he can get a signed report from the customer also with whatever the detail. And then his job is done over here. So he can access this particular wizard on his mobile screen. Now in backend, when I come and open this, you can see a field service report will be attached over here with the time spent. And then I can also see the timesheet filled up by my flooring cleaner in order to perform that. So now this thing I as a manager can mark it as a done and then I can send report to client directly from here. <coughs> that is the home construct construction service where I have assigned with this flooring service to my portal user. Now on another way what I will do I will sell new service to my customer too who was you know requiring I think elevator installation that can go for 10 hours and then I confirm it will again create a task inside the same project where SO28 will be there, customer 2 will be there and then I can assign this to my another portal, user portal 2. Okay. So now here I am login as a portal 2 user where we can see another project because he is assigned to that project but inside task he can see the task of elevator installation once he is assigned over here and then he can communicate like reach client place and then further communication to it and then finally he can add his timesheet over here like if he has spent 12 hours he will submit with job. now if i go to backend what I will have is I have SO28 which is already having a purchase order but I didn't confirm it but inside my task if I see he is done with 12 hours job 2 hours extra but my task was prepaid fix hours so what I will do I will directly confirm over here with 10 hours and I can create a bill and pay to my vendor for his services. So this is an iteration we have done uh, for this particular you know uh, job orders which I am allocating and assigning an employee and a portal user and then allowing them to serve that particular order on need basis. So this is how now uh, you can also see on project and task the communication can be flowed from my portal user seamlessly. He can also ask signature of customer from his portal view and then he can done with his job and come back once he is done. And with his task and allocated time, you can analyze the overall time, his efficiency, and then final billability of that particular task. So this module we have created for many different service companies who can leverage by not purchasing Oru's, you know, license user, but he can, or any customer can create a portal user and get benefit from you know, and saving a huge cost for such an employee base where there are hundreds of employees who are only allocated on project and task and we only need the log or work log or timesheet log to perform our duty. Hope you like this module and if you have any uh, inquiry, any solution or this solution you want from us, please contact us. Thank you guys. Good day.